I like it. Join the NL Discord came in third. Mm. Like, you're going to cheat and not even win. It's just an embarrassment. That's an unofficial Discord, right? Like, you're not... Yeah, gonna, yeah. no, I mean, I'll, I'll go all. off. Jemmy Spawns, are you here? I'll, I'm going to go off. Once I go <laughs> off, there's no coming back. Get out of here, cat. Hey! Hey! Uh, I'm gonna go off walks away. No, I'm still here. But the thing is, oh, okay. it is an unofficial Discord. And I said, you can make the unofficial Discord. I just want literally nothing to do with it. And then once every few weeks, I get a tweet that's like, hey, I'm the admin of the Discord. Can I have like an hour of your time to talk to you? The answer is not no because I'm a jerk. The answer is no because I outlined the conditions. You can have an unofficial me Discord. But I want nothing to do with it, because I everything I hear about Discord is always like, yeah, it was really cool until something went horribly wrong, and now it's like all internal politics and drama and stuff. I don't want any part of that. I want the plausible deniability. I want a Chinese wall between myself and the Discord. What? I, yeah, what I... I, okay, for a second I was like, I don't know what the hell that means. Then I was like, oh wait, there's a really obvious thing that that means. It's I a don't... legal expression from the good wife. <laughs> The Discord is well modded. Fantastic. I wouldn't dare grace it with my presence and then risk the chance of ruining it. I'm letting Jemmy know NL is yelling at him. I'm not yelling at him. I'm just giving you the reason why I'm not answering is because I said you can have the unofficial Discord yeah. as long as you never require me to do literally anything. And that's it. And if you start exporting scum, that's got to stop too. What do you people mean, ex are exporting the servers scum. and then they start infiltrating the other discords. I don't want to see that. Yeah, I mean, see, I, I don't, I don't, I don't even want to know that that's happening. This is why I was, I was well, defensive I about the disc. Though. Well, they, that, that's why I want to maintain having zero part yeah. of it whatsoever. Wow, that would never happen. <laughs> no one would ever infiltrate other discords and cause trouble. That would be silly. Oh, wow, His cheeky wow, demeanor wow. makes me think that he has them. It's never happened. I've never seen uh, it in my life. Flash. That's, that's why that. I resent it at this point. Is like I know the internet long enough. That I, they're like, hey, you want to build a community? And I'm like, no, nah, but you should. And then in the end, it's like we've we built. It's it's gone viral now, and we can't control it. What do we do? You can't put the genie back in the bottle unless you rub it the right way. You already built a community. Why do you need to build another one? I built a community on somebody else's platform, so moderation is their responsibility. Discord.gg slash alpaca patrol, just saying. Uh, yeah, you had your own Discord drama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we all have, to be honest. Yeah. I don't know yeah. that I have. Mine's pretty calm. Oh, you had a couple of, couple of bad eggs roll around some other Discords after... Uh... Look, we don't need to have a Discord fight right now, all right? Let's move on. <laughs> I don't even understand, and I want to keep it that way, is the thing. <laughs> I have the best emotes. You can get all the Night in the Woods characters if you go on mine. Is that Lee? <laughs> it's Discord, who cares? Like everybody just responds with a laugh when, it, when I ask Corey about his emotes. Hey, did you get permission from Jack Black to sell his face? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not selling anything. I am. I'm selling this pizza in my mouth to my stomach, and it's buying. The pizza market's very strong, unlike the Intel market. <laughs> oh, hi -o. <laughs> Slay, queen. Mmm, the tea is piping hot. I don't know anything about Twitter these days. Don't send me Discord friend requests. Don't do that. I just want my phone ordering yeah. food. And it's kind of pop up. You're in Subway? <laughs> Subway? <laughs> you are in Subway? <laughs> what is this Subway? Order in Subway. <laughs> no, no, that wasn't like I misspoke. That was like I had you a had a stroke. percent of a stroke. You order in Subway. You order in Subway. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. You alright, dude? Sometimes my brain. I like. I don't think the human mind is designed to speak to itself for so long every single day. Because like I've, I've reached the point where like I'm the biggest influence on myself, and then that's where it becomes a real problem. God damn yeah. it! You should take more time off. Make uh, it feel better. I'm gonna in February. Oh, that's good. February. Fe that's how you say it. No, I know, but it's just don't sounds, even it's a, start with me. Bro. Justin had a great. Oh, does anyone have the clip of Justin? He had a fucking amazing like. I don't want to call him stroke voice. He had an amazing stroke. But it was just the funniest. It, Rate he, he my stroke it. dot com. He could not repeat the the <laughs> verbal typo that he had. Jamie spawns. You missed your. You missed the bit. Okay. You know, one of the beauties of pizza is it's delicious when it's cold. Yes. Unlike many other. Absolutely pizza. correct. 
I love pizza. Mm-hmm, me too. I even like bad pizza. Yeah, me too. Like Lunchables pizza. It's horrible. Mm. If you if you gave me a slice of Domino's and then a Lunchables pizza, I would be like, this is horrible. But if you if I was hungry and you gave me a Lunchables pizza, I'd be like, sick pizza. Dude, mm -hmm. I used to love Lunchables. Mm. Lunchables probably have the best margin of any food in existence. Yeah, right. It was it's like ten dollars for a box of like crackers, we, like three crackers. We're at a grocery store, ironically called Save On Foods. And they had Lunchables. It was four dollars for the Lunchable. What do you get? Three crackers, three slices of ham, three slices of cheese, a Capri Sun, and a miniature Crunch Bar. Four dollars. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That company is... it's highway robbery, man. And it's all low quality everything. It's the worst thing. On a bad night uh, <laughs> a couple, couple nights ago, me and Jess ordered some Papa John's. And by a bad night, I mean it was like way too late for anything else to be open. And I had the pizza there for the first time, and you ate at Papa John's in the yeah, store. I ate Papa John's pizza. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> That's I really it. bad. I delivered it. I got, I got it delivered. Okay, I actually order from Papa John's from time to time because they have this big giant cookie. That's yeah, yeah, that yeah. Is, yeah. That's that's what I get from them. But she was Bo in the house. It was oh man, it was just all salt. It was just a pile of salt. An entry in Teenage Tarzan's diary today. I Tarzan. Or today I learned about pronouns, and I like, don't want you to have Papa anything Jones. to do with the Discord, you lump. Dude, that's actually a great reply. I'm super happy to hear it. Keep up the good work. Passed a lot of Papa John's in Ireland, and I had to explain to Lynn like why it's a big deal, and I couldn't figure out how to explain it. Is it called <laughs> Father John's? Fuck. <laughs> 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 oh, Father John. Why don't you make me a cheesy tomato it's, pie? It's funny because did you know that in Spanish, papa means potato? Oh, potato job. The first thing a pig would say if it could talk. Hey kids, stop all the downloading. Or please, oh God, don't consume me. I don't get... The left one is a meme before your time, Austin. <laughs> hey kids, what? I'm a computer. Stop all the downloading. So people were asking, like, why on God's earth would you eat the Papa John's pizza? But, you know, it was like 2 a.m. and it was the only place You open. of all people. It was the only place is. open that was delivering, so I just had to. The city that never sleeps. <laughs> well, <laughs> delivery Papa closes John's at down, any hour right? of the night. I, we could have went out and there were restaurants it's open. hell of a I, town. <laughs> but I wanted delivery. I don't want to go out and negative million degrees. The crime you would commit if you could get away with it. Installing a Dogecoin... A Dogecoin... <laughs> Dogecoin. A Dogecoin, <laughs> Dogecoin miner in my grandpa, or rob the Keebler elves of all cookies. I feel like if you're installing any kind of coin miner, why would you go with Dogecoin anyway? It's like the fourth Doing most much lucrative altcoin right now. Is it really? That That's yeah. the one that... Like, Bitcoin doesn't make me mad. Dogecoin makes me mad. Dogecoin that is one... rising because Bitcoin is expensive. So, oh, people, so no. people are like, I, why I would was I buy? buy a bunch of it. Did it? How much? What is it up to now? It's worth a lot now. How much is it worth? How much is it worth? I think it's like me. eight cents a Dogecoin or something. When I looked. Oh, it doubled since last I looked. I'm buying stuff, dude. Yeah, but you're gonna say I'm gonna, and then you won't. It's voting time. Oh, I gotta do it. I just couldn't do it. You won't now. It has a two billion dollar market cap. A realistic, honest fast food slogan. It's only kind of fast, or it'll kill you, but you'll like the salt ride. It's one cent. Okay, still. Oh, it's one. Oh, so it went down. Oops. I thought it was four cents last I looked. It's one eighth the value. A and it's ago. the thirty-fourth most valuable cryptocurrency. That's my mistake. All right. Well, wasn't it worth like point oh 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 one? Literally, like, when there were, when it came out on Reddit, people would give you. They'd be like, "Hey, here's like a hundred million Doge coins." <laughs> <laughs> I like your comment. Here's a hundred million Doge coins. It's uh, much more profitable than an ad run. Dogecoin. <laughs> it was gonna say install a Dogecoin in my a Doge <laughs> a Dogecoin miner in my grandpa's pacemaker. Dogecoin. <laughs> Dogecoin. Oh my god. What do you call the grade given to a German student who's good at memes? A Deutsch mark. 
Twitch. I like how it's only getting funnier because you keep mispronouncing the same thing. <laughs> it's hard to say Dogecoin Miner. Dogecoin Miner, Dogecoin Miner, Dogecoin Miner. Say, say it a hundred times. <laughs> It'll take up a lot of a lot of time on the show, I think. Hold me closer, Dogecoin Miner. There you go, I like it. Count the Dogecoins on the webway. Dogecoin, 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 Dogecoin. Dogecoin. You'll be rich if you or keep buying. A street name you never see. Maybe, maybe not. A street name you never okay, see. Backstreet or Dogecoin. <laughs> it's really hard to say. <laughs> Dogecoin. Dogecoin. That's a, that's a German cone. You know who's performing at the Super Bowl halftime show? Let me guess, let me guess. German cone. Wait, wait, wait. Is it is it a contemporary artist or a classic artist? It is a reference. Wait, 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 wait is he on the Backstreet Boys? Tarzan. No, and then Sync. Wait, was he? Backstreet wins by one vote. Backstreet's back. back. Oh, All right. Okay. Was he Backstreet Boys? He was. He's in it and Sync. You. Is he in Sync? I don't man? fucking know the. He I was in Sync. I didn't know that. In Sync is Justin Timberlake, J C Chazé, Chris Kirkpatrick, Joey Fatone. Joey Fat one. Who? Lance. Bass. Who was the big Backstreet Boy then? Nick Carter. None. Oh. There was Nick so Carter, Brian, AJ, Howie, and Kevin. The first sign that you're old, you say Dogecoin, or you can't pronounce Dogecoin anymore. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. is. So we found the meme. A good, a good name for a pet cemetery. cemetery. Cremation station or oh, Doge graveyard? Is. Okay, I see. <laughs> <laughs> We've really all committed to. Uh, <laughs> Literally, like 80% of the answers in Quiplash so far have had Deutsch. <laughs> right after Versus. we went off and said that we're the only people who play Quiplash in a funny manner. <laughs> yeah, Merge said are, when, when Austin said they hardly meme anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about Google? <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, let's get some Googles in here, boys. The let's meme has Googles been gone. defeated. All right, we can move on. There. So it wasn't that long. I mean, it got defeated on the first one. Okay, like, it, it, it only true. won a prompt because <laughs> <Yeah>. both <laughs> answers were it's yeah, a good it beat itself. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. How Yogi Bear eventually meets his death. Diabetes or that ranger turns him into a rug? That was in Robot Chicken, I'm pretty sure. Uh, oh, yeah, what was the name of that weird uh, South African place? Grobel Shroop? Grobel Gro 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 Stoop. <laughs> Grobel Shoop. Grobel Shoop. Grobel Shoop. <laughs> Imagine if you lived the in Grobel Shoop. The Dutch. The Google where Grobel Shoop was. <laughs> hey, here's an impression of a Dutch person. <laughs> oh, we're extremely tall and eat sprinkles on sandwiches. Mm, we're Dutch. Wait, what? Mm, eat, we like to ride bicycles. It's pretty wild, the whole bicycle thing. I'm trying to think, there's gotta be How other things about How can I not say normal Dutch. words right, but on the first try I can say Google Grobel Shoop. It's just <laughs> on the... I'm so mad. That's just a, a Dutch person's name. Ooh, I'm Dutch and I don't know if I'm German or French. <laughs> mm, my country is pretty much universally respected throughout the entire world. Rip not making fun of misspeaks. <laughs> we, we pioneered wind power. <laughs> Fucking idiots. Oh, Burn God. more rocks. <laughs> there I go, laughing at my own jokes again. Sorry. <laughs> there I go, killing again. <laughs> Google Gerbil Shoop, killing again. Watching Dark and it being a German TV show, I really like the way Germans say hi to people. Okay, hello. They, they go, hello. <laughs> Even when they're like just very like, there's this one like really tense moment where like two characters are like meeting again, and they like very like, they're doing that awkward hello thing where you know, if it was in uh, an American show they'd be like hey, and the other one would be like hey, and they just go hello, <laughs> hello, hello, wie heißt du? I couldn't. That's the one moment in the whole show I couldn't take seriously. Mm, du wie heißt du? Robert. Uh, the best title for a new national anthem for the USA: Stable Genius, Sing Along, Even If You Don't Know All the Word. Abortion, <laughs> or I am a stable genius. I'm surprised only two of us went for stable genius. So jokes. again, like this show stays pretty apolitical. Um, yep. Sometimes, if well, you're writing here. that tweet, <laughs> why would you ever write? Uh, and this is verbatim. I'm like really smart. <laughs> 
I'm like really. <laughs> it's I'm just like the dumb. worst possible way to and package that message. He's also said I'm like a smart person before, so he's yeah. also put like before that before. It's just a terrible. Like any no. English teacher would be like, if you cut that like out, <laughs> it just becomes a much more powerful <laughs> sentence. <laughs> no, see, you don't understand, Brian. He's playing 5D chess. So he's just he's just Call back. Yeah, yeah, he's playing five D chess. Yeah, it's an extra Twelve the million D chess. The final yeah, scoreboard. he's up very many. He's got the most D's of anyone. <laughs> oh, Austin surpassed me at the final moment. He's done. I just thought when he said I'm a stable genius, it sounded like a venue militia lyric. And uh, <laughs> I am a stable I genius. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, he could actually sing that song and I wouldn't be surprised. I'm pretty sure that's the top post of r slash I am very smart of all time. Oh, yeah. yeah. He is a brain eater. That's the thing. <laughs> he is a soul stealer. He is a true liar. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Just like Arnold. I get that that's part of his brand. But when I read the tweet, I was just like, hey, man. Just take that like right out of there. That's good. It's a that light part of his brand. That's a lightning rod for for satire. It's especially so for a sass box okay, like you. Yeah, Keith Olbermann is also an idiot. I also hate that <laughs> I saw guy. that tweet. <laughs> what did Keith Olbermann do? Dude watches hockey and saw an article about esports and went, "Bunch of stuck-up brats playing some shit nobody cares about." What a fucking high on the smell of his own farts. It would be awesome to win Jeopardy with the phrase, what is your fucking problem, Alex? Or what is my dick, Alex? <laughs> but the tweet worked because it got people to notice him. You think um, Trump watches Rick and Morty? Oh, easily. Right. With that IQ that high? Of course. <laughs> It must be huge. <laughs> the worst person to share a hot tub with. Austin Powers or a greasy spray tanned sta stable genius? All right. St stable genius. <laughs> stable genius. Like a, he's an equestrian. Or she. But Rick and Morty is actually like a pretty good show though. So I'm just saying. Yeah. I don't need to riff on Canadian politicians. You know how often I talk about the average single family home costing over a million dollars in this city? <laughs> it's all fucked up up here, too. Yeah. Nobody's tweeting about it, though. Pretty fucked everywhere, else. Except that one dude on Kelly Leach's campaign who called the dude a cuck on Twitter and then had to resign. That was really good. I loved that. Wait, so people up there resign when people call each other that? Because I am jealous. It goes oh. back and forth. A fun trick to play on the Pope. Be an atheist because you have an IQ of 200, or joke about who has the biggest nuke button. So, okay, hold on. I never actually tweeted this, but I took a picture of it. Let me, <clears throat> let me get Your it. dick? No, hold on. Well, uh, I mean, technically Funny story. that is true. I mean, what you just said is true. Yes, I've never tweeted it, but I have taken a picture of it. That's cool. <coughs> you all right, Ben? Hold on. Yes! <laughs> I killed it. I'm dying. Is it true that snakes like to be petted more than dogs? Doubt it. Yeah, I doubt it as well. I can't well. really tell what the hell snakes are thinking about half the time. The worst part about having a mustache. Immediately qualifying for being a villain or not being able to use it to grab things. You don't think about that when you have a mustache or you can't grab things? I don't grow a mustache because I it's don't want to like, be a villain. No, I mean, you're not a villain. And sometimes you just want to grab things. Uh, okay. What? Look at the front it. page oh my God. the Daily News. Do you see that? Robert, what? that is incredible. That's, That's the daily yeah. fucking news. <laughs> what did I say? I don't. I can't look. Uh, it's a Photoshop picture of Trump and Steve Bannon as animals fighting, and the headline says "cuck fight" in big oh. letters. It says "cuck fight." Oh, <laughs> can you do that? <laughs> I don't know. I this, hate this. This reality is so shitty. This is a fucking news I want a better one. That's amazing. How do I yeah. de how do I D6 out of this reality to a different <laughs> or uh this sorry D4 D4 ever. Which one is the day is Daily News is the New York Daily News? I think so, yeah. Is that the one that Larry Brooks works for? Which one's the one that you're not supposed to trust? Is that the Daily Mail? Are there any that you're yeah, supposed Daily. to trust now? Uh, no, I, I thought are there any that 
the most reputable newspapers are the Washington Post and okay. the New York Times. I think I've just heard so many people with so many different agendas lambast every single one show. of them that I don't know uh, well enough well, who's talking from what side or, or what. Name you can think of. The most they presidential bad, name president. you can think of that isn't already the name okay, of a everyone, president. Springfield, Missouri, or George <laughs> Washington, too. Those Same. newspapers are 0% dependable? I the New York all Times? All Come of them, zero? That's Same absurd. question for gaming media. Are there any major gaming news sites anymore that anyone cares about? I like Rock, Paper, Shotgun. Rock, but Paper, Shotgun is cool. I, hate. I don't know, like, I, have res I, I don't respect it, but I understand that you gotta play that, like, you gotta get clicks. You gotta do clickbait. But I do hate that so many... Like, even PC Gamer, obviously Polygon, like, whenever any YouTube drama pops up, it's like endless... So and I much. will admit that whenever a website messes up, a hundred YouTubers jump on them for clicks as well. It's an Ouroboros. But yeah. you're supposed to be better than that. We're all supposed to be better than that. We're better than that. Something yeah. squirrels probably do when no one is looking. Go nuts, ha ha ha, or suck each other's dicks. I feel like all of us right now aren't aren't like major clickbaity view chaser type of people. No, we we live in the ivory tower because we just wait for other people to take a risk and mess up, and then we make a joke in their expense. <laughs> right, exactly. Which is yeah. the perfect place well, to be. The jokes don't get the video clicks though. True. They're they're embedded within. They're not the leader. Something you would like to fill a swimming pool with. Splash coin or water? Yeah, that's so, right. Matt, Matt, this is a, Matt, this is a clickbaiter. That's 100% true. I think he's that's the only true, one out yeah. of us, though. And maybe Indie Mouse. Uh, he's not is one of Dan? us. Dan? Does Dan clickbait? Wow. <laughs> I don't know. He's Australian! I don't know. Dan does clickbait. That's his, that's fair. Dan, like, I feel like he clickbait. Yeah, like, I feel like he, he does like, clickbaits ironically, us, and he clickbaits us. Like, we, he, he baits <laughs> us into responding. Ironically or not doesn't matter anymore. The hardest part yeah, that's a fair point. The hardest part about living in a submarine. What? Crushing separation from society or the undersea pressure makes coming hard. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> I've never been on a submarine. Does it do that? Dude, I would be so anxious on a submarine. I have a, it might be popular or mildly unpopular opinion about clickbait. Okay. If you click on it, you're the problem. Mmm, yeah. As long as, like, the clickbait that's like, I fucking died. And then it's a vlog where they're like, oh, I tripped on a, my shoelace and scraped my knee. Like, that's, I don't, I don't respect that. But if it's like, and the top awesome. 10 worst pieces of shit ever, and then you click on it and you, you're like, what about this guy? You're, you're the problem. If you get suckered in by those lists, you're, you're the engine that is destroying content online. Can't you share the blame equally? This is yeah, but they're getting, they have an incentive to do it because of you. Not because of you, but because... No, if you break the chain in either direction, it'll help. But, I mean, the person that's getting fat stacks is not going to break the chain. Something you really well, that's not the question. The question is where does it start? And it starts on both sides. It's not the... First off, it's not victim blaming. <laughs> clicking on an article. It's not, it's not... You're not a victim if you fucking... Come on. And the other thing I'll say is that people accuse things of being clickbait when they're not. If you make a title that's, like, enjoyable, people go, well, it's clickbait. You're just supposed to say every video should just be called Isaac.FLV. Something you rarely <laughs> see used as a car decoration. Dildo, porcupine, movie spoilers, an eviscerated human corpse, or a goose bumper sticker. Goose bumper sticker. That's goose. just a good pun spelled wrong. No, I'm not roasting Bear Taffy, but I am yeah. kind of like by proxy roasting Top Trending. I'm not, I'm not trying to insult it, but Look. I think that they essentially make video clickbait. That's kind of like their business model. I'm really passionate. I, I I feel like the the stuff that top trending does is like on the on the lower end of the spectrum of bad clickbait because they tell you what the video is about. It's not like you know if you go on like a like BuzzFeed or some news site and it's like like you won't believe what peas will do to you. Yeah. Later on tonight. Yeah, that or, is or the sign that you you're getting cancer and it's a picture of a foot. Right. Yeah, exactly, yeah. If you like, eat this, go see time. your doctor. So, grain yeah. of rice. It's just a picture of a foot. There's nothing at least, else. At least when it's like top 10 horror movies, they're going to show you 10 horror movies that yeah. they think That's is, true. You know, 
But isn't the reason you click on anything because the title baited That's you? That's the thing. <laughs> I, I think clickbait is when it's a lie. That's clickbait to me. But I also, I don't know, I, I put a lot of responsibility. If you've been on the internet for like more than two years and you click on an article that says you won't believe what celebrity looks like now, you're part of the problem. Yeah. Especially if, if you I, click on it and you go, this is amazing, then more power to you. But if you click on it and go, oh, I got clickbaited again, <laughs> that's on you. I had a very intentional uh, sort of methodology for doing titles that were strictly functional. Obviously, you can't do that for every single video, but most of them at least this are like just literally what the video uh, is, and you were uh, which I, I think that's helpful when you're a viewer and you want to know what's in the video. Yeah, the title, like Dan's titles, I actually don't mind. This would be like, you know, a, a, a Ned Starkey and Tarky. And then you click on it and you're like, this has nothing to do with it at all. <laughs> but, if, you know, a video, a lot of vloggers are really bad for it. I almost died. Worst thing ever happened. Oh, I got a, my phone bill was $20 more this month than I. There's this one YouTuber who had like seven I almost died videos. And it's like, <laughs> how are you living such a dangerous life? <laughs> I crossed the road and a bus was was coming, but then it was a red light, so it didn't hit me. <laughs> Chat, do you guys ever just see something that looks like a clickbaity video, and then because of the title, you just go away from it? I feel like most yeah. people don't do that. I, do I, that. I take clickbait as like a challenge now. Like there's some other Isaac YouTubers and they'll like, <laughs> this is the craziest run ever. And I'm like, craziest I'm not even going to click heard. on it. Because I know it's not. I'm probably a crazier. Yeah. It's just a law of large numbers. I'm not I'm not going to lie. I used to make videos with that title way, way back when. I'm so flooded. I'm not going to get any answers in. The best synergy in Isaac. You'll never believe what it is. I... Oh, no, it's, it's Brimstone and something else. You got six seconds. <laughs> you I got apologize. It. I pretty much nailed that one. <laughs> I'm double no answering. I can't no, think of anything. No, you can't do that. I did. I, I literally have my hands on the keyboard. I don't, my brain just turned off. How do proctologists cheer themselves up? Go 10 inches deeper or no answer? Come up with a name for a beer made especially for monkeys. Bud Light or Banana Brew? I like Banana Brew. That sounds nice. I like, I like both. Banana of Brew. Banana Brew. I would try a banana flavored beer. It sounds, could be all right. It sounds gross. I mean, it probably is gross, but it might be all right. I actually really like uh, banana pudding. You guys like banana pudding? Yeah, I love it. You know what I really like? Delicious. What? You wake up like a little bit early on a Sunday morning and you make banana pancakes. It's your day. Yeah. You guys know Jack Johnson? Mm -hmm. How'd you do that? Jack Johnson? I hate chat. I hate Twitch chat. Because they're like, <laughs> yeah. it's like 90%. All right, you can be mad I fucked up. But then one guy's like, he always does this. <laughs> I don't think I've no answered in like 10 rounds. <laughs> Episode, whatever. Like, it's just a lie. You just lied to everybody. A fisting a day keeps the doctor away, or an excuse a day keeps the doctor away. Yeah, that's basically my life. The doctor is the proctologist from the other answer, so. <laughs> I see. Lore. Mm. <laughs> yeah, deep. <laughs> Deepest, literally 10 inches deeper lore. <laughs> Uh, you guys ever want to get fisted sometimes? <laughs> I don't think so. Yes, Rob. Whatever the question is, of course, yes. Yeah. Sign me up. That's one of the ones I've got no interest in. I've got no interest in. Yeah. Fist me in a garbage truck. And I don't really want to be the fist either. Perk of marrying a yeah, I don't, I don't really see the appeal there. But if you're gonna thirst my hand, one perk of marrying a serial killer, getting rid of anyone you don't like. Nice. I heard when you turn 50, you gotta get fisted, like you don't have a choice. Dude, I'm, yeah, they sign me up. It. I'm being honest with you. <laughs> what, they get, what they do actually when you're 50 is they, they put their whole fist in and then they open their hand and spread oh, their fingers apart. Yeah. Yeah. Run me through every oh. test. <laughs> every time I go to the doctor, just have the mass spectrometer there. Run the blood, run the cum, <laughs> run the shit, all pissed, I don't care. Mm -hmm. Take some spit, cheek scraping, shove your hand on my ass, feel my balls. I'm good to go. <laughs> <laughs> once, once a year. All, all they gotta like put the tube. They put the tube down your throat too. No, you I don't want that one. one. Only if the blood. I don't want that. Only one. if the blood you know, or the cum test comes back negative. Can you do that one to me? There are a couple other types of establishments that you can get that same kind of treatment. Yeah, but they're not gonna run. They're just gonna take my fluids. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, that was like a forty-minute getting over it run, which is not quite as good as my record. 
You should do getting over it on AGDQ. Okay, do they have that this year? That several times, actually. Um, I, I don't really want to be on AGDQ. Yeah. yeah, we talked about that on Monday. We did, yeah. Okay, we said they're all nerds and I hate them. <laughs> that's not the same reason. Mine is because I'm very self-conscious. Yeah. <laughs> A title I'm, of a I'm very self, excited for them. The title of a self-help book for rats. How not to be cheesed off or cheesing you while you don't need it anymore. I think I actually still have it playing on another tab in the background. God damn it. Rob, your bandwidth! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. This guy just has a Skype call with his girlfriend open 24-7, and he's, like, on the stream going, why is it buffering? <laughs> <laughs> the worst yeah, I got the Skype call going right now. The worst name for a robot, Robert or John? I Would think you, there should yeah. never be an AGDQ run longer than 20 minutes. No, absolutely <laughs> not. No. They I only 20 minutes is about how it would be like a greatest no. hits album if they only did speed runs that were less than 20 minutes and they did like 500. No, I absolutely. You got to have some 3-hour ones in there. 3-hour the Skyrim. This is where he walks across the mountain <laughs> instead of taking Skyrim is there in the really short. Yeah. <laughs> You should Skyrim's never give alcohol. You don't know what you're talking about. That's true. You should never give alcohol <laughs> to a child or nerds. Some of the best runs are like usually around an hour to an hour and a half. I'll they're, accept, they're usually the runs with I'll like. I'll accept like, one hour. No, <laughs> hour and a half. No, it's too much. Like, how? I too will much. say some of those like the six-hour Final Fantasy runs are not my bag, but like I grant that that's cool that they're into it. I still well, I the, remember the, the hypest. Uh, uh, Wind Waker speed run. It was like one of the most four hours long. Yeah, one of the most interesting runs to watch is Majora's Mask in 8%. That's like an hour and a half, exactly. How many times have you watched that run? I mean, I watch Kyle a lot. So oh, I've watched lot. Kyle run it like 200 times. That's outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> I've never even played Majora's Mask myself, but I know so much about it from watching him. Name your new haircutting establishment. Collins Carefree Quick Cuts or OK Hair? <laughs> the other alternative I'll say is you can have speed runs that are longer than one hour, but mm -hmm. the runner better be fucking Jimmy Fallon. He better be <laughs> quipping. Cause when I, Jimmy I Fallon tune over, in so. and it's like, hey, this is a six hour run of, you know, all the Castlevanias played on an upside down NES from Taiwan with a blindfold on. And the runner's just going like, they're not saying anything. I I'm just I like, I, can, I can't follow this. We just got a different style. No, you're right there. But like, there um, was a Burnout Paradise run the other night, and there was some dude on, like, kid on the couch, and it became a meme that couch kid would not move or say anything. <laughs> and they got, he even got some donations that were like, at couch kid's choice. And then he just did not move or blink or anything. It was hilarious. Was this pre-uncomfortable uh, right side couch person or post that? Mm, which is uncomfortable right side couch they had uh for a while there was somebody crammed into the right corner of the couch so hard that it looked like he was dying <laughs> and so the chat wouldn't shut up about how they need to get him a chair eventually they got him a chair but he didn't look comfortable at all oh he was known as couch clipper that's yeah pretty, that's the one that's the one that's pretty funny that's cool they kicked a guy they, out for sleeping here's what everybody wrote <laughs> really that's, that's different now. was he on the couch or yeah all There's right. so many places to sleep, it's a hotel. Why would you pick the place on camera? A surprising purchase on Willy Wonka's credit card statement. Exola 499 <laughs> subscription to Northern Lion. <laughs> Better <laughs> chocolate good. bar. 200,000 packets of sugar-free gum. 20,000 gallons of blood. In Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, yep. those children die in those candy machines. 100%. Um, right. Well, some of them die. No, they all die. They, it seems like well, mo most of them at least die. No. But here's the thing. No, wait, wait, wait. People talk about people. Uh, 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 Veruca Salt definitely dies. She's dead. Yeah, and Augustus Gloop is dead. I don't think like, he's dead. dead. I think they got him on stuff. And the Blueberry Girl, they drained her. Yeah, so she she's gets dead. drained. And then Mike TV. Surely they find he's a way to get drunk. him out of the television at some point. I they do. He's but he's digital like, now. That's a Black Mirror episode. <laughs> but here's my point. People talk about the the kids dying. No one talks about the fact that those that there are children in Willy Wonka's can. In, in his in his can, in his candy. Oh, in his candy. No. Yeah. If Augustus Gloop children? dies in those pipes, the chocolate he's river did flow over Augustus Gloop. 
It aerates it. And then he got in the pipe and he drowned. The blueberry lady, she didn't affect the candy. Veruca Sol just got dumped into the incinerator. She was a bad egg. Well, where did they drain the liquid in Blueberry Girl to? Probably back into the, the drains. I hope not. Mm -hmm. Make more blueberry candy. Make a blueberry candy. It wasn't scalding chocolate. Why would the chocolate river be <laughs> scalding? <laughs> Can you imagine what that place would smell like? It's not like chocolate. Well, it is yeah. hot, right? The chocolate has to be it heated, has to be right? at least warm. This is yeah. But I, I refuse to believe that it would be a boiling chocolate lava flow. <laughs> <laughs> well, but that'd be you didn't hear awesome. him screaming as he's burned to death, so definitely it wasn't that hot. Yeah. Oh, and they left the room before he started drowning, too, so... What? No, they didn't. He gets shot through the pipe, and then that's that's the end. And leave the room. What do you mean before he started drowning? They were there when he started drowning, and then they sucked him into the pipe, and they all watched. Yeah, but then he went to a place to drown some more. I'm more concerned about <laughs> oh. the fact that Willy Wonka actually owns slaves. Yeah, that's pretty weird. Like the the storyline, like I don't remember if this is in the book or if it's in the movie as well, where he talks about like how he found them, and they were like an indigenous people in some faraway land, and he basically yeah. enslaved them. And then he's got to go to the dentist because he's Johnny Depp. They write dope songs, though, so. It's like they're just waiting for a kid to okay, be murdered. Here we go. Like, they got they got all the choreography yeah, they were prepared. Ready, yeah. No, I know, that's the undertone, is that that's their way of getting back. Another use that's for gravy. That's why it's all a little creepy. Toothpaste they are... or Gravy River. Hold on. Somebody said, they are paid, so are slaves, bud. <laughs> Does it make them not slaves? A and it's like you've never slaves. seen an Oompa Loompa in the wild. It's like Willy Wonka specifically took an entire proud race of people. And he's like, hey, you guys, now you make chocolate for me. What proof is there that they were paid? Oh, well, in the extended edition, there's a scene where uh, Willy Wonka's payroll accountant gives them all slips. That's what I'm saying. I never saw that footage. You know you're in a comfortable relationship when, you're significant, when you ask your significant other to fart on your cake or when you ask your significant other to shut up. Happy birthday. <laughs> chat, chat, is, chat is real upset about me because they're saying that slaves don't get paid. Uh, why are your shoes $100 again? Okay, that's a different. Curious. That's a different story. It's still slavery. Also, slaves throughout history were also paid a wage. That that part is true. Yes, it is. <laughs> you know when uh, Julius Caesar came back from conquering Gaul, he just gave everybody in the army one slave each. My shoes aren't a hundred dollars. It's like extremely fucked up when you think about it, right? Nobody's gonna. Yeah, it happened two thousand years ago. Nobody. Oh, I don't want to go in on that. That Julius Caesar bit, I don't want to get political. The perfect song Chat. to hum on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet or Oompa Loompa song. I hope Chat, my reference wasn't read a today. history book, honestly. <laughs> like, straight up. Don't try to shame me for saying it. you also watch hardcore history. We learned something from the same source. We should be bonding, not tearing each other apart. I've read, not only have I read no. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, okay, I also cool. read the sequel the where they go to outer space in an here. elevator, and the grandparents age backwards so much it's they get done. into negative years, and you have to go in the negative dimension to get them what? back. You know, Actually. Charlie's granddad that was in the bed, like, infirmed at the beginning of the movie, why can he dance? Because he's happy when he gets the golden ticket. That works that way? I think the consensus is that he was actually just faking it. Right. Yeah, he's definitely fake. Like, I think he was just putting on airs. And he didn't want to walk because he was lazy. He was just lazy, okay. <laughs> That's the most reasonable explanation I could actually think of yeah. now that you mention it. It's adrenaline for the whole movie, okay. What do you mean there's a theory that he's a pedophile? What? So, what? I'm spotlighting Why? the person in chat who said that because I want to know more about this theory. That Grandpa Joe is... There? is <laughs> What's the the game theory uh, explanation for where Grandpa Joe's pedophilia comes from? Nothing weird like that even goes on at all in that movie. A lot of the, weird, the weird stuff happens in that movie. It, yeah. <laughs> the weird stuff is all Willy Wonka, though. And it's not that kind of stuff. It's just like, that doesn't make sense. That's just a theory. But that's just a theory. That's just a theory. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I think it's just a theory. I'm just mad that Chad doesn't remember sitting on the toilet. What is that? Sitting, sitting on, on the toilet. toilet. Sitting on the Yeah, I remember it. Sitting on, sitting the, on toilet. the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. Mm hmm. It's just a classic, man. Who's it by? YouTuber lady. I don't know. YouTuber lady. Jenna Marbles?
Sup Lily Superwoman? <laughs> the secret to a healthy head of hair. Get rid of it or shave it so it grows back twice as thick. He waits in bed for 20 years despite his family's poverty and then gets up in two seconds when Charlie wins the trip to the chocolate factory. He's a grade A asshole. Yeah. Well, his, his muscles would have obviously atrophied. I don't know why he's able to dance. I always thought that was, like, maybe the worst ever living arrangement ever portrayed on film. It was two grandparent families. Four, yeah. The there there were four beds end to end and side by <laughs> side. Imagine living with, like, eight... Well, that's not eight, but that's four. Uh, imagine living with four <laughs> of your grandparents and in-laws simultaneously, all sleeping in the center of the room at all times. Seems pretty shitty, yeah. I mean, that was kind of what they are going for, I think, though. You're right. It is a tesseract of beds. In the future, RoboCop <laughs> actually retires from the police force and becomes Robo Old Person or Robo <laughs> Private Security Firm Manager. Did they make the bucket harder to jump onto? Charlie Bucket? Yeah. Don't... Don't put words in my mouth. Yeah, maybe Honestly, Grandpa no. Joe's bed is uh, the Infinity Stone. The golden ticket Super being Mario. the gauntlet that unlocked the power within. Helpful advice you would give to Super Mario. See a therapist or get the fuck out the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario has problems. Out. You went all over the goddamn world in the last game and it didn't stop his problems. He's been in meat space. New Donk City, yeah. Wait, hold on. I got a comment. Yeah. Rob, this is from Berkeley. They are not paid with a fungible wage money like Wonka's former workers, but in cocoa beans. Further, only within the framework of slavery could Wonka pass his wealth, the Absolutely factory, and the, oomp God. the oompa and the oompa loompas to his successor Charlie. He's paying them in what, what's the word? It's like fungible. When, when you're at a mine, they pay you in like little bits of gold that you can dust off your clothes, and you can only use it at the mine store. Oh, it's like casino chips. Yeah, he's paying them in. It's not scrimshaw. <laughs> No, that's, script. that's carving that's, into yeah. a whalebone. Company script. A double rainbow doesn't have gold at the end. <laughs> Instead, it has light, just light, or ire coin. Rob, after I watched Molly's game, it made me want to ask you to teach me how to play poker, but then I'm worried I'll get addicted to it, so I don't know if I really should. Uh, well, you could play poker for free, like, all over the place. No, I know. I've, I've tried before, and I can't remember how to play it ever. I can. I taught Jess how to play poker. I can teach you. Yeah, but will Thanks she know how to play it in like a, a week? Will she know how to? She, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Oh no, yeah, absolutely. The I, rules of poker. I hate when learn the game pretty soon. Are not yeah, yeah, I hate when people say this, but it is true. Poker is really easy to learn. It is. You have to memorize all the hands. There's no, only like twelve of them. Yeah, I mean, like they there really are not that many uh, to learn. How many other? One, two. And then the river, like and you gotta learn all the words. You don't need to know that. You let. You don't uh, need to know any of the, the words. You the let Ali blind? Najad uh, remember. There's only those. like nine, isn't there? There's the big blind. Yeah, like Nobody's that, mentioning yeah. that. Poker is extraordinarily simple. It's got like a low skill floor and a high skill ceiling, basically. Fuck yeah, it's got a really imagine. high skill ceiling, but 80% of the game is determined by random chance. Mm, this is a silly idea. <laughs> <laughs> How many repeat <laughs> World Series of Poker winners are there? Many, several. List off all the poker terms, you know, chat. I want to hear them. What do you mean poker terms? Doyle the, Brunson. The terms, the the things that you say when you're in the game that are like exclusive to poker. There's all the hands. There's big blind, little blind. There's folding. Oh, blind, blind. There's calling. There's raising. All the in. The thing where you tap on the table. That means something. That's a check. That means you checked. And that's yeah. basically it? The nuts! The worst thing to try to sell door to door. Pokemon, doors, doors, or no <laughs> answer. <laughs> <laughs> doors, doors, that's what I've got. All right, multiple that bracelet does. winners. Not bracelet! It needs to be the Cowboys, winner of the World Series of Poker. Bullets, ante, river, flop, the nuts. All I'm saying is there's no two-time champion Greg Raymer with the lizard goggles. There's no two-time <laughs> champion Chris Moneymaker, who's got the money-making last name. There's no two-time winner Jamie Gold, another befitting name for a poker champion. Doyle Brunson won twice. That was back in 1911 yeah. when the American population was less than the number of people in the audience right now. From what I'm seeing right now, Johnny Moss won three, Doyle Brunson won two. That's a really good point. If I can learn 500 Johnny freaking Chan. items in Isaac, I can learn the six or so poker. The, the, the other thing with poker is that <laughs> Every hand's value is tied to its probability, so yeah, you only really need to think about it. Like, oh, what's more likely, a straight or a flush? 
there's a lot of like meta game to poker. Like that's that's where you are, get better at the game. Did Daniel Negrano? Did he won? Did he win multiple ones? He's probably. I mean, he's got so many bracelets. He looks like Prank Invasion. Plus, he's Canadian. So basically, the answer is like there's like five that won uh, more than one. Have there been any since the year 2000 when poker was born? Since the Poker Stars <laughs> era. You have to admit, oh, though, looking. when the people who know what they're talking about get into the lingo with each other, it's actually very hard to follow if you don't know what you're, what you're hearing. Yeah, when but it's talking all... about hands really fast and stuff. It's kind of like 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 when you when you hear someone say the flop, the turn, the river, it's like it just means like the first three cards, the next card okay. and the next card after that. Cards in general, as sort of like a, a larger body of games, tend to have some very inclusive talk within them to do with betting and you know strategy and and the statistics involved. And uh, I'm kind of new to all of that, so it seems big to me somehow. It's uh, there, there's there's a lot of strategy to the game, but it's you know it's it's kind of the it's, it's not it's not hard to look. The turn comes before the river. Maybe in America, <laughs> the turn is in magic, isn't it? Yeah. You turn in a car. It's a magic term. Mm -hmm. You can turn in a ballroom dance. I just, I imagine doing a card trick when someone says the turn. Can I, I want to ask you something real about poker. Okay. Why do you burn them and turn them? Uh, you hold them. I thought you hold why, them. Why do you burn a card in poker? You got to know when to fold them. Wait, what do That's you mean burn Titan a card? You know, you like, wait, oh, uh, when you, when you burn a card before you, you deal out the flop and the turn in the river, right? Yeah, but why? you're asking. I actually don't know. Maybe it's for cheating. Like mm. that would be fine for like card counting. But that's, I, I'm honestly talking, I, I have no idea. I mean, the whole point of poker is card counting. I mean, not necessarily. Um, Wait, so the whole point of poker is you watch everything everyone plays and try and keep it in your head. No, you don't really have to do that. I, I mean, oh. it, it it's good to do that, like to know their betting strategies. But I mean, like the top poker players will, yeah, they'll, they'll be able to calculate probabilities on the fly. You take stamps. That sounds horrible. In case you weren't annoyed enough, um, I might not respect poker, but at least it's better than anime. Shadow Falcon, Artisan Partisan, Chroma 1000, Hypernova 2121, Evandy.